Welcome back, everyone. I had a request um, to list all files and folders along with metadata recursively using autopsy so you can load it into a spreadsheet for detailed time analysis. And this actually, we do this quite a bit in forensics. Timeline analysis is um, a really powerful way to get an understanding of what's going on in whatever system you're looking at. Um, so I thought I'd do a video about it showing how to um, basically export uh, file metadata, all of the files and folders and the metadata associated with those files and folders uh, in autopsy. So I already have a case loaded up and I have actually a Sam an image of a Samsung uh, Note 2. And once you have the image loaded up and all of the ingest modules have run, you just have to go to, I believe it's uh, tools, tools and generate report. Now, before I generate report, I want to show you real quick timeline. So Autopsy does have a built-in uh, timeline tool, and it's not bad for, for getting to know uh, kind of what's going on in the system. If we go to counts, um, then we can see file access times, and we can zoom in by year. For example, in 2017, I know this phone was not used until um, April, actually, so if my slow computer will load this. Um, so basically what we can do here is use this timeline view built into autopsy and it's relatively powerful. We can do a lot of queries and we can also see um, the files and file metadata associated with those files um, uh, based on the timeline. So you might want to use this already built into uh, autopsy. Pretty, pretty good little tool. Um, if you don't want to use that, however, because there are other tools that are very good for timeline analysis, then you might need to export uh, the, the files and file metadata. So to do that, we can go to tools and generate report. And there's two main reports that I, I, I guess we'll focus on here. Um, the results report, of course, would be if we were doing the investigation in our in autopsy. But we are going to do first off files and files text. Okay. Uh, if we select, select files and text, then click next, then we can select all of the different uh, file metadata uh, that we want. I'm just going to select all for now and then click finish. And then it exports it into wherever we created our, um, our case file in autopsy, whatever that directory is, you'll find a reports, a reports directory. And inside that reports directory, you will get a um, uh, an individual folder created with the time that you created the report and then something called, in this case, file report, because we did a file report. Let me show you what that looks like. This is my case folder on my um, host workstation. So um, I have here uh, just a, a test folder. And inside this, this has uh, case 001 FB test. Okay, and then this is actually the uh, autopsy case folder and inside the autopsy case folder automatically generated is this reports folder. Inside the reports folder are all of the reports that I've run and this is the report, just a text file, um, which should be tab separated, a tab separated text file called file report that will contain the file list and all of the metadata. Okay, um, so before I actually show you what's in that, I want to talk about another type of uh, export or report that we can create. So go back to generate report and TSK body file and then click finish and it will export what's called a body file from the sleuth kit and body files are basically used uh, supported by a lot of different timeline analysis programs to generate timelines with a body file the structure is a little bit different um, let me show you the difference between those now so here is the uh, file report that is exported and it basically it just has the file name uh, file extension if it can detect it the file type whether it's deleted or not last access created uh, modified time as we would expect the size um, see address information uh, hash value I didn't calculate known status if you have your hash database um, uh, lit or if you have your hash, hash databases loaded into autopsy then um, it will be it will show the hash hash status uh, permissions and then the full path so that has um, yeah, basic information about the file and uh, whether hashes match the size, the timestamps related to it. OK, so this is the file report that we exported the first one. If we select all of this uh, information and then the body file, 
Okay, so this is the body file format, and basically this first column should be the MD5 value, uh, but again, I didn't calculate MD5 hashes for, for this, so it doesn't show the MD5. And next is the name, the name of, in this case, this is a folder, and then this looks like um, so for example, 0003.prv, this is a file. Um, let's see, so we have MD5 name, and then this should be the inode column, the inode that it's detected on, and then um, basically the permissions, uh, whether it's a directory, whether it's a file, and the permissions that are on there. Uh, the UID, the GID, uh, size, um, and then A time, uh, M time, C time and CR time. So basically the time values. Now, yeah, okay. So um, I'll actually make another video on specifically what the body file is about and what all of this means. But if you have any experience with generating timelines, um, body file uh, is supported by a lot of different timelining programs. So they actually give a little bit different information. So you might just be aware that both of these different file types exist. Um, uh, our report types exist that you can export and then import into whatever program you actually want to analyze it. And notice that I've loaded both of these into uh, LibreOffice Calc, which is basically um, kind of like Microsoft Excel. Um, so if you want to do your analysis, I don't know, in, in Excel, you certainly can. Um, but there's a lot of, again, good timeline analysis programs that you could um, use with this as well. So that's very basically how to export um, a full list of files and the file metadata into essentially two different formats uh, depending on what your needs are. So I, I recommend you have a look at tools, generate report, and then files text and TSK body. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.